Hey guys, it's wait, I gotta. Hey guys, it's me, Mangoes. Welcome back to another video, and today we are back in the Skywalker saga. No, I'm not. Today I'm back in Minecraft. Sorry, I've been making a lot of Skywalker saga videos lately. Anyways, Potato Craft. Uh, there might be a slight difference in my base. I'm not sure if you can notice it, but it's all of that. You know, I've been doing some terraforming, just a little bit. Got a bunch of blocks from mining. Still no diamonds. Really annoying. Hopefully I'll get them by next episode, which might be probably this weekend, I think. Um, but yeah, I've got some terraforming done, and I'm planning on doing a little bit more in this episode. And I'll probably work on terraforming the land once I get some more blocks to do that. Because I know I'm going to use some quartz dirt and stuff. But for now, I'm stuck with... Uh, this landscape added some kind of hidden lights there's one behind the waterfall one over here right there and some others just hidden along the wall and I probably will find a use for this building at some point not sure when not sure when and uh bridge up there still hasn't gotten any updates you know except for the being held down by some sticks other than that it's st held the same since the episode where I made it over there you can see I did some terraforming but that is not from this episode that was quite a long time ago So as you can see, it loops back around on this path and goes over here with nothing. So I have learned that our friend Extrold has moved bases and it's now quite far away. I believe at like 3,000 something. So yeah, that's not the best, but still, they're playing. That's good. And they've gotten a lot more progress than me. I've got to say. Because uh, I, did, I wasn't on the server that much during the one month break, I guess. But he was. And he's got a lot. Like 51 diamonds. And I've had not nearly as much as that. So he's ahead. Let's just say that. So I'm going to get to terraforming. I'm not exactly sure what to talk about during this. It's not really my exactly first time doing terraforming, but it's pretty close. I haven't done that much terraforming. I do have one world that I made, which is full of terraforming, and I think it looks great. But of course, that is very opinionative, and it might just be because I made it. You know... Whenever you make something, it gets more attached to you than other stuff does. It's the same with cooking. Like, when you make something, usually it tastes better than it would normally uh, taste. Even if it's not as good, ingredient-wise. Or cooking skill-wise. You know, it's just like the fact that you made it and the appreciation... For what you did. And it kind of affects the taste. Making you think that you're really good. And. Yeah. Side tangent. But I mean. I think I need some side tangents. Because uh, this is not. The most exciting thing. But personally. Whenever I watch SMPs. I just love watching building. And when they skip it completely i just don't like it time lapses are fine though time lapses are cool but like i just love watching people build in minecraft and i've watched some more like lego time lapse videos of people building mocks and it's just really interesting i've actually made some 
Small mocks myself. Not too very big. Um, but they're pretty small. And they're, I think they're good. But again, it might be that effect we just talked about. Oh, it all loops together. It all ties in. But yeah, seriously, I think the mocks, the mocks are pretty good. And it's nighttime, so I might get to show you some of the lights that I put in. Sneak one of them over here. Yeah. Oh, crap. Crab. Hope that didn't damage too much. Anyways, let's... So we've got that light over there, very noticeable. It's cool, I like it. It's got a few lights along the wall. Just kind of slightly lighting it up, but not enough to really affect the world. It's a nice town. Definitely a giant change from last season. Because it was super futuristic in the last one. You just can't get much detail in a futuristic build. But in something like this, there's tons of room for detail. And if you don't really go detailed, it just doesn't have enough to really be a good build. So I'm just going to fix up this creeper hole. And that'll probably be the end of the episode. Boom, 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 boom. And boom, boom, pop. There we go. Up down the wall. Mm, looks pretty good. Well, that's a variation. Anyways, that's it for this episode. See you later. In the next video, which I don't know what it'll be, but you'll probably know, depending on when you're watching this. Anyways, bye.